All right, guys, we've got an amazing one today, I can assure you. So we've got this car right over here. This is a Nissan Altima with a plethora of problems, but we are gonna diagnose two of them in this particular video, and we are going to do it in record speed. The fastest diagnoses ever on this channel for a misfire and for a parasitic draw on the battery. All right, guys, as you are well familiar, we have tons of videos here on parasitic drain analysis and on how to detect misfire. But as promised, we are going to do this in absolute record time using this. That's right, just this. This is a infrared P2 Pro. This is an infrared thermal camera that connects up to your smartphone. You can use Android devices or iOS devices, and it converts your smartphone to a thermal device. And if you are not familiar with this technology, prepare to be amazed. This is going to make these diagnoses so phenomenally easy and quick, you won't even believe it. The best part, these are under $300 with a current promotion going on. And if you use the links in my description, you can get these models for under $300. There's a couple of models. The particular one that I have here has the macro lens. So we've got a removable magnifying lens basically for up close work. The other model will just be the P2 Pro without the macro lens. And of course you need to choose the model for your smartphone. So let's first of all start off because we need to make sure we've got battery power to start the car for the misfire. So let's fix this battery drain first. The issue we have here is the customer complains that after approximately a day and a half to two days, the battery is completely drained. They cannot start the car. So it seems like kind of a slow drain over time. They replaced the battery with a new one, still have the same problem. The problem just lasted a little bit longer that they could go without starting the car, but they're convinced that they've got something draining the battery. So the first step, let's see if there is a battery drain. We've had the car sitting overnight and we're going to go ahead and just put an amp clamp on there. You can use DVOM. We show methods of doing this, but we need to just see that there is a battery drain. All right, so if we look at our amperage from the battery here, we can see we have evidence that there is a slight parasitic draw on this battery. We've got 200 milliamps, which is definitely too much. I uh, usually like to see on, on some cars as little as 10 milliamps of draw when the car is completely resting, uh, up to maybe a maximum of 80 milliamps on some cars, depends on the features they have and accessories. But uh, under no circumstances, 200 milliamps would be acceptable. So this explains the uh, kind of slow parasitic draw for sure. Now, as you know, we have various methods for how we would detect this. One of the methods that I typically use is I'll look for voltage drop across the fuses to try to find the fuse with the circuit that has the parasitic draw. You can also just pull fuses one at a time until you drop to the normal rate. We've discussed some of the challenges with those and also, of course, it takes a lot of time. Let me show you how incredibly quickly we're gonna find this parasitic draw using the P2 Pro. So all we're gonna do is take the P2 Pro camera and we are going to put it into the lightning port on my iPhone here. I've got the camera facing away so I can look at the screen here while scanning around. We're gonna launch that P2 app and we see we've got our camera activity. We then wanna choose a filter. There's lots of filters available here. I particularly like the first one here. And we can see from the cool colors, the blues and greens, that the car is completely cold. Now, if we look around, we can see the garage door is warm from the sun shining on it. If I put my hand in front here, we can see uh, the hot spots. My fingers are a little cold. Panning around, we can see the monitor on the wall obviously is warm because it's been on for a while. If you want, you can also overlay with the actual image that you're looking at like that, since things are a little bit fuzzy with the uh, infrared, of course. All right, what we're gonna do to diagnose this car is we're gonna look around for any hot spots that would indicate we've got electrical activity. So let's go, we're going into the dashboard right now. 
All right, and if we look here up above the steering wheel, we've got a little bit of a, a yellowish, almost red spot. That's the radio. That's actually normal. You're gonna see that every time because you've got the clock still running, uh, keeping the time memory. Also, this car has an alarm system, so you may see some activity for that. But what we wanna do is look for any modules that have uh, at least evidence of fairly high amperage going through. We don't see anything particularly. So if we scan back here though, now we're gonna see something. All right, we're scanning around the back seat. Now we're getting to the back of the car and this is right over the trunk. And you can see a prominent red spot here. It's actually right behind that third brake light right there. So what do we think may be under the trunk that could be drawing amperage and producing heat like that? Well, let's take a look. So if we look right at the spot where the camera detected the heat, we have the trunk light on in here. Clearly the trunk light is on all the time. We can very easily verify that. Now that we've opened the trunk, we should be adding amperage if this wasn't the existing cause of that draw. So let's take a look at our amp meter. Looking at our ammeter, the trunk being open has no effect whatsoever on the amperage draw. Clearly, it is that trunk light that has been on this whole time. What we're going to do in order to prove that is I'm going to disconnect the light bulb here. Give me one second. Right there, disconnected the light bulb, and we can see that now we return to a baseline of activity. All right, if I wasn't filming and demonstrating the features of this little guy about the size of your thumb tip, uh, I would have diagnosed that car in a matter of seconds, honestly. Obviously, we've got a failure in the trunk closing detection to turn off that light bulb, a little bit tricky one, because of course you wouldn't know that the light bulb is on in an area where you can't see it. The glove box also is another example of a tricky location like that. But uh, the P2 Pro picked that up immediately and very, very easily as you see. What a huge time saver to take us right to the direction without us having to look at every circuit. Now, if you think that was easy, wait till you see how easy and obvious it will be for the cause of the misfire on this car. Let's uh, get the engine warmed up and take a look. Okay, we can see an obvious misfire with this car. We can hear it too. Scan tool shows code P0303. That'll be cylinder number three misfire here. Obviously with this design, this is super easy to diagnose. We don't need anything fancy, but what if this was one of those models where your cylinders are underneath the intake manifold or they're hard to access on the back of the engine? We've shown a lot of high-tech ways to do this before, but none of those options are even close to the low price of the P2 thermal camera. So just to confirm, we're gonna do cylinder drop test. All right, we see a huge change in the engine there. Huge change in the engine behavior there. No change in the engine there. That's clearly our misfire. All right, we wanna plug that in though because we want the circuitry to be working because the thermal camera may still be able to pick up if we've got continuity through the coil there. And the final one, well, almost killed the engine. Okay, so we know our misfire is on number three. We don't know if this is fuel, air, spark, or compression right now, but with the P2 camera, we're gonna narrow this down very, very quickly. All right, using our P2 thermal camera, I'm just gonna hover over the four ignition coils here, and we can see the third ignition coil is absolutely cool. The other ones, we are showing some warmth through them. We can tell this is absolutely an ignition problem. We either have a bad coil, or we are not getting the proper power grounder signal to that coil, so we know right where to look. We don't have to do compression tests. We don't have to test fuel. This is an ignition problem. We can see it. Another indication, though it's pretty slight, is if we look here, we're looking at an exhaust manifold runner right there, and we see how red that is. If we look at the number three right there, you see it's actually not nearly as red 
We got a little yellow over it. We look at the other ones back here. Those are red, but we see a cooler exhaust manifold runner right there. That indicates a lack of combustion because of course we've got a lot cooler exhaust coming out there without the combustion gases igniting. Three wire coil, we've got our power there. Got our ground there. Let's check for signal. Okay, signal is gonna be a low voltage signal. Of course, it's gonna be very rapid. So we're only gonna see an average of it here, but that is clearly evidence we have signal too. Power, ground, and signal, we are done. This is a bad ignition coil. We could also very easily have just swapped it with another coil to prove it, but we're gonna replace that ignition coil to fix this car. I wanna try a little experiment here. I'm gonna put the macro lens, which is basically a magnifier, right on to the P2 Pro. I wanna take a closer look at the coil, see if there's any evidence of electrical activity through the coil that we could have diagnosed this using only the P2 camera and not having to verify the electrical. All right, if we look at our macro lens here, we can see this heat signature around this good coil here with the red spot. This does lower your sensitivity a bit, so it's gonna be different, but we see that. Now let's go over to our bad coil if we look at our bad coil, yeah, I'm gonna say we don't have evidence of any electrical current through that coil at all. So not like a shorted coil or something like that. There, there really is nothing I would imagine that all we're seeing, if anything, is gonna be heat from the engine coming off. But it uh, doesn't look like we've even got any current through that coil at all. All right, guys, as you can see, the P2 Pro is absolutely amazing and very useful too. If you are creative, you can come up with all kinds of ways to do diagnoses with this, I am sure. And don't forget, uh, for you guys that are into like the circuit board stuff and things like that, that macro lens would be a must have. So what you do to get a P2 Pro, there is a promotion, and again, I'm not, doing this, I don't get paid commissions and things like this. Uh, they did approach me and said that I can keep the camera if I do a review. As you know, I only do reviews if I find that this is a real game changer for your diagnostic capability and it is something that I would use myself. And believe me, this is absolutely something that I think is a game changer. I was very skeptical about it when they approached me, but as you can see, it works incredibly well. But uh, I turned down 99% of the requests to do product reviews. Uh, this, this one definitely, definitely earns its place. Uh, there is a promotion going on through the end of the month at the time of this video. It is uh, June of 2023. So through the end of the month at the time of this video release, I will put a couple of links in the description so that you can get this amazing device for under $300 with the promotion going on. That's even under $300 for with the macro lens. I think it's around $270 without the macro lens, something like that. But I will put those links in there and if you are interested in more information or in getting a thermal camera and you can see what an incredible, incredible time-saving device this would be. If you're a professional, this would pay for itself in two diagnostics because your hour diagnostic fee that you would get paid for five minutes of work with this would pay for itself very quickly. So check the description, check out those links. Um, this, this is one of the most amazing things I have seen. Hope you enjoyed the video. We will catch you next time.